leave us, snarls Krogan Skull, pointing to the stairs with his jet black blade. But stray no further than the hall below, and do not disturb us until I call for you. Reluctantly, the visit. And do not listen by the door. Eavesdropping is rude. Yeah. Yeah. Reluctantly, the Lasagonians leave, their heads bowed in reverence, but their eyes still fix murderously on you. As you watch the Lasagonians leave, you edge nearer to Krogan Skull and prepare yourself to launch a surprise attack. You will need all your speed and skill if you are to catch him off guard. From the bottom of the stairs, you hear a steel door click shut and immediately you spin around to face your enemy. But he has a plan of his own, and he, it is he who catches you by surprise. A crackling arc of blue electrical fire surges from his hand and connects with your chest, shaking you, life, shaking you like a helpless puppet on the tip of a fire lance. Now, tell me everything you know, he growls as he increases the current. It is torture that he has employed countless times, and always it, is, it has elicited the truth from his human victims. Your skin tingles and the charts cause you to shiver, yet you feel no pain. Staring down, you see that the crackling bolt is being drawn to the golden amulet that hangs around your chest. Its magical properties are neutralizing the evil charge. Krogan Skull senses that something is wrong. He breaks off his attack, his bulbous eyes filled with fearful suspicion. He steps back and then utters a curse in the dark tongue, which echoes like thunder around the walls. Black mist pours from his fingers, swirling into a cone that grows in his bony palm. Shadow shades writhe at the core, and then gush towards you, engulfing you in a choking flood of deadly crib spawn. So, um... Hey, by the way, you still have the dagger of what, Vashna, right? Let me have a look at that. Well, I'll just have to check. Dagger, 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 dagger. Let me see, dagger. Yeah, we still have the dagger of Vashna, and dagger that I just wrote in the description that it was evil. Right, so, um, yeah. Uh, you have a choice, you can either use the Somersweb, the Dagger of Vashna, or neither. We can't, use the, we can't use the sword. So I say we use the Dagger of Vashna, then. Yes. Okay. We can't use the sword. I yeah. know. Remember? Yeah. The moment you draw the dagger from your belt, a blue flame courses the length of its twisted blade, and the squealing flood of crypt spawn soar upward towards the roof in order to avoid you. They and their creator, Dark Lord Krogan Skull, recognize the power you wield, and both are in awe and terror of it. Freed from the threat of its loathsome summonations, you now advance upon Krogan Skull with the dagger before you. He screams in anger and lunges at your head, his sword ablaze with tongues of black fire. You catch it with blow on the tip of the deck, and both blades spark furiously as the terrible powers collide. You're now fighting Dark Lord Krogan's God. First of all, he's immune to Mind Blast, but not Psy Surge. And second, um, the dagger of Vashna has uh, extra power against him, so it adds 7 to your combat skill. So that means that since you're not using the Summer Sweep or the dagger, you only lose 1 in combat skill. Let me just set that down. So that means that you have um, 44 normally, don't you? Or was it 43? What is your normal? 43. 43, right. So that means your combat skill is at 40 now. Alright, let me see. No reason, uh, describe, uh, what is class against each other with their energies? I got flashbacks to the end. Uh, intro video from uh, Heroes of Mind Modern Magic Four. Remember? Uh, yeah. Except you're not blow yeah, but you're not blowing up the world. So Good. Yeah. So um yeah. Do you wish to use a side search or would it just well fight as you are now? Mm, might as well fight as we are right now. Yeah. Alright. Right. Okay, give me a robot eye. Ten. Right, you force his blade back, and with a mighty shove, you uh, force his hand away and stab him right in the chest. His black blood flowing on the blo floor as he curses angrily at you. Hmm. Ah, your mother was a hamster, and your father's made of elderberries! Seriously, uh, if you said that... Whatever that, that sentence goes. Yeah. And it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Yeah. Uh, give me a you may roll the die again. Nice. Right. 
You clash again, your blade sparking, but you have the upper hand, the enchanted blade seeking its way almost automatically into his flesh at every turn. Nonetheless, you're not completely immune from his attacks as his dark, void like blade sears your flesh at even the slightest contact. You lose two endurance points. Ow. Again? Again? Roll to die again? Uh, well, yeah, I'll tell you if he's dead. Six. Right. Fury seizes your opponent and he comes at you with his black blade with even more strength than before, determined to end your life. He slashes your blade to the side and falls up with another swing that, cut, that catches you in the chest, shredding part of your disguise as it carves through your armor like it was made of butter. You lose five endurance points. That was rude. Ouch! Yep. No worries, we still have 22 health points left. Three. Right. You try to attack again, but only manage to lightly ga ga graze his side before he pushes forward and stabs you in the shoulder. You lose five endurance points. Hmm. Ten. Right. You manage to kick him back with a kick. Uh, well, with a you kick him back with a kick to the stomach, and follow up with a powerful stri uh, strike while he's still stunned. As opposed to kicking him back with a headbutt to the stomach. Yep. You got it. Five. Right. Your weapons class as you do uh, as you meet again in the middle of the room. Sparks flying left and right as you deliver numerous gashes to one another. For a moment, you are almost equals. You lose four endurance points. We are having a tough time here, just saying, folks. What's your life? Uh, 13. Hmm. Maybe we should drink that health potion. Well, do remember you get a health boost if you reach the six endurance points. Ah. But on the other hand, you might want to save that for later. So, yeah. yeah. So that's Seven up to you. Seven under all circumstances. Seven. Mm. Right. You force his black... Uh, you forces his blade black and manage to catch him with a powerful blow to the side of his head, tearing open his one eye and the massive cyst at his sides, sending a nasty amount of vicious fluid flowing down the side of his face. Small parasites wriggle and writhe in the mass of fl fluids that now flow freely from his face. And Rage slashes out at you, but you manage to almost completely dodge it, but the tip sears with your side. You lose three endurance points. Okay, before we continue, I just need to make sure of something. And also inform you of something. We currently have 10 health points. And we have two healing items in our inventory, including the potion of Lansburg and the nutritious fruit that we have been keeping. So that will restore seven health points in total. And I'm all for using those items at this point. Yeah, but this isn't even the final boss. No, but we're still getting our asses kicked. Hmm. And to be quite frank, I have no idea just how much health this guy has left. Let's just keep going. Alright. Hmm. Him. Right. Blinded by the hit to the face, your opponent swings around, trying to hit you, but you attack him from his blind spot. At this moment, you have the greatest advantage possible, and your blade strikes true, hitting him straight in the throat and boring up into what you assume must be his brain. Ow. Your killing blow draws a howl from Dark Lord Krogan's skull, so loud that it shakes the very foundations of the building. He falls, yet as he does so, his withered frame vanishes before your eyes, leaving only a tattered grey robe and a black sword to mark his passing. If you wish to keep Helshisak, the sword of Dark Lord Krogan Skull, you can keep it as a special item. That's probably not a bad idea, seeing as we can't use the summer spell. Mm, well, we have the summer spell and we have the bow. But then again, those are the only two weapons we can actually carry. You can use it as a 
special item. So yeah. Okay. What did you say the sword was named again? Hell, hell, Shizak, right? Yeah. Okay, I have no idea if I pronounced this right, but yeah, health you sack, and it does what kind of damage? Well, it has 5 to your combat skill, 7 if you use it against the Dark Lord. Hold on. However, it's a very evil weapon. So not recommended for a lot of use. It absorbs one of you. It reduces your endurance by one point for every round you uses it, permanently. Oh. I say we just keep the dagger then. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm not adding that weapon. Yeah, the dagger has no special powers. We're not used against the Dark Lord, but you have other weapons for that. So yeah, having recovered from your combat, you quickly leave the chamber by the stair that leads to the roof. They discover the slant beast, Krogan Skull's personally winged mount, perched on a raised log. Standing nearby is a death knight armed with a spear, staring absentmindedly over the parapet of the harbor lights below. The slant beast sniffs the air and shuffles along its perch with a nervous rolling gait. It senses that you are in its natural that you are its natural enemy and it's becoming agitated in your presence. You must act quickly and with skill if you are to use this beast to escape from Argasad. Do you wish to use your bow? Or do we wish to approach the Death Knight and tell him that he's wanted at the barracks? Or do we want to sneak attack him? Well, our armor is torn, so... Well, no idea. What do we do? Do we... Sneak attack him with the dagger. Hmm. I can support that, but what say you given here? It sounds like a good idea. Alright, we take the dagger and see if we can sneak attack him. Like a shadow, you glide towards the Death Knight, your weapon poised to strike him down. But just as you are closing for the kill, the slant beast lets out a piercing call of alarm. Fucking stupid bird. Um, roll the die! And, um... You may... Wait, have you gotten those skills? I I'm pretty sure you've gotten those skills. Uh, what? Yeah, you may add one for having both Weapon Mastery and Hunt Mastery, and you may add uh, three for having Animal Control. So that's four in total. Robodyne add four. Fourteen. Using your Kai skills, you will the Slant Beast to seize its incessant call. Immediately it obeys your psychic command and shuffles to the end of its perch, its head bowed and its eyes half closed. The Death Knight star starts to turn away from the parapet, but his movements are slow and relaxed, and he's totally unprepared to receive your attack. Like a striking viper, you lash out at his chest with deadly effect. The Death Knight Sentinel stiffens and falls dead at your feet, his black armor and his black heart torn open by the force of your killing blow. His black heart? You didn't even know the guy! Well, he's And they're humans, so... so... Yeah, I sincerely doubt he literally had a black heart. Yeah, but regardless, he was working for the bad guys, and at least he got a quick death. Yep. A quick search of his body reveals the following items. A spear, a dagger, an axe, a pouch of tobacco, a bottle of wine, a pipe, 60 kicker, an iron key, and food for one meal. Ah, oh, that goddamn foreign currency again. <laughs> yeah, let's sorry. Take, no let's, let's take the key. The iron key? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Just going to add that. Iron key. Iron key taken from Death Knight Sentinel. All right. And the key, I assume, we will also be taking because it is foreign value. Well, how much money do you have in total in your pouch? Mm, let me see, we have... Uh... Oh wait, I think, yeah, we cannot carry anymore, because uh, if we are going to judge this... Let me see, we have uh, 36 coins and we have 230 Kika at the moment. Two, uh, 230? That yeah. uh, would be well, thirty six plus twenty three. That would be um, 
48. Hmm. So that means you can take 20 of the keycard. 